This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomarito Automotive Group. Good morning, I'm Paige Holsey. This is your News 4 update. A St. Louis family who pleaded just days ago for justice for a woman who died after being caught in a rolling gun battle may now feel some measure of relief. A suspect is now behind bars. I'm, I'm filled with a lot of mixed emotions right now. Very small sigh of relief knowing that the person who um, did this to my sister is now in the hands of the authorities. It's only you know how to answer these questions. And I know personally, I look forward to the day where you can't answer these questions. That was the brother of Kristen Witted, who was shot in her car in the middle of traffic along I-170. The suspect charged with murder and multiple other charges. In St. Louis County, the battle over the latest restaurant restrictions continues to heat up. A Chesterfield restaurant owner is now threatening to sue the county for damages. Satchmo's Bar and Grill was shut down earlier this week for defying the county's indoor dining ban. Its permit was suspended as a result. And the owner now tells News 4 that he's considering suing the county for damages. The pandemic leading to an explosion in the already big business of online shopping and home deliveries. But we want to remind you that those boxes and packages can be an open invitation to thieves. Just look at this video. It shows a couple caught in the act pilfering in Afton. County police calling these two Bonnie and Clyde. This video is near Baptist Church and Gravelly Road. As we reported earlier this week, by some measures, the problem of these so-called porch pirates seems to be especially bad in the St. Louis area. Now Matt Chambers has your forecast. We've got some outdoorable weather for you for the rest of the weekend, I would say, Paige. Nice warm up today. You've got a nice blue sky, loads of sunshine. Not much to complain about unless you're just looking to dust off the sled. I don't see any snow around here anytime soon. Seven day forecast coming up. By lunchtime, we're at 47 degrees with, again, maybe just one or two fair weather clouds. That is it. It's about as exciting as the weather's going to get today. Even the winds are light. Five o'clock this evening, after a high of 51, we will be back into the 40s. Be a good night, I think, to go out and enjoy some of those drive through holiday displays in Missouri and Illinois. So 51 under sunshine today. Tomorrow, more clouds in the mix, especially from St. Louis to the east. Because of that, I'm knocking the high back just a little bit. A mild low at about the freezing mark and then an afternoon high at 46. Monday, very similar temperature wise, but a little more sunshine, mostly sunny there. It's Tuesday when this much advertised warm up kicks in and boy, does it kick in 50 for the high there. Wednesday, we're at 56. Hanukkah begins at sundown on Thursday. That's a beautiful day with a mostly sunny sky and a high of 61 degrees. I've got a feeling I might not be going warm enough. Enjoy that because on Friday, maybe into Saturday, a cold front rolls in, drops temperatures and brings us our next chance of rain. That timing could change a little bit, so stay tuned for updates. And in the meantime, have a great weekend.